Welcome to this lesson on placing the Dexcom OnePlus sensor. In this video, we will focus on correctly placing and removing the Dexcom OnePlus sensor to ensure accurate readings and comfortable wear. Let's walk through the process step by step. 1. Supplies To successfully place the sensor, Gather the following supplies, a sensor applicator with a pre-loaded Dexcom OnePlus sensor and alcohol wipes for proper hygiene. 2. Inserting the sensor. To insert your sensor, first choose your sensor site. The Dexcom OnePlus sensor is approved for placement on the abdomen and the back of the upper arm. In addition, children from 2 to 6 years may also place the sensor on the upper buttocks. Before you begin, wash and dry your hands. Clean your site with an alcohol wipe and let it air dry for at least 10 seconds. Get your applicator and unscrew the cap. Don't touch inside the applicator. Press and hold the applicator firmly against your skin until the clear safety guard is pushed in. Now push the button and remove the applicator. To help keep the patch on your skin, rub firmly around the patch three times, then press gently on the sensor for 10 seconds. Your overpatch will help you keep the sensor on and is bundled with your instructions in the box. Carefully pull off the clear liners one at a time. Please don't touch the white adhesive area. Use the color tab to place the overpatch around the sensor. Using a mirror will make the overpatch application much easier. Rub around the overpatch. Use the tab to peel off the colored liner, then rub around the overpatch at least three times. Avoid getting the adhesive patch wet, including in the shower, for 12 hours after application. After those 12 hours, you can shower and swim with the sensor without extra protection. 3. Removing the sensor When it's time to remove the sensor, carefully peel off the patch like a bandage. You can use body or baby oil to help you with the removal. 4. Do's and don'ts here are a few key tips to keep in mind. On the box, you'll find various numbers. The one marked with 21 inches is the serial number, while the number prefixed with 10 inches is the lot number. You might need these numbers when asking for a replacement sensor, so it's best to keep the box or take a picture of it. On the applicator, you can find a four-digit pairing code, which you'll require to link your sensor to your desired data receiving device. It's a good practice to either keep the applicator or take a picture of it for reference. Once connected, you can also find the pairing code on your Dexcom OnePlus app. If you ever observe the sensor wire disconnecting from the insertion needle, it indicates an issue with your applicator. This problem may arise from the applicator being dropped or damaged. In such situations, it is recommended to request a replacement sensor and report the issue with Dexcom technical support, as the sensor placement will not be successful otherwise. Do not use the damaged sensor. When placing the sensor, do not forget to press the applicator firmly against the skin until the clear safety guard is pushed in. Otherwise, it will not be possible to press the white button on the applicator. If your Dexcom OnePlus system detects that the sensor can no longer determine your glucose reading, you may receive a brief sensor issue alert or a sensor failed alert. The brief sensor issue alert means that the sensor is temporarily unable to measure glucose. If this issue occurs, it often happens during the first day of a sensor session, but it can happen anytime. It usually fixes itself within three hours. If it continues for more than three hours, it's better to contact technical support. In rare occasions, the brief sensor issue may lead to a sensor failed alert. This means that the sensor is unable to measure glucose. If you receive this alert, you must remove your sensor and begin a new session. To help prevent future sensor failures, make sure you use a wear location with enough fat to avoid muscle tissue. Make sure you clean your sensor site with water and soap and an alcohol wipe and let dry completely before you insert. And make sure you use the Dexcom overpatch and keep the sensor securely adhered to your skin so the sensor wire doesn't come out. Dexcom officially requires use of the overpatch, but it might not be necessary for everyone, especially if you don't sweat a lot or plan on swimming with the sensor. If you're not a fan of the white-colored Dexcom overpatches, you can buy clear ones online or at the pharmacy. There are medical-grade patch options in skin tone or colors sold by companies like SkinGrip. 
By following these guidelines and being resilient in the face of challenges, you can confidently place and remove your Dexcom OnePlus sensor. The process of placing the sensor is simple, and we anticipate no issues. However, if you encounter any technical challenges, please don't hesitate to contact your local Dexcom technical support for assistance.